How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, my client is flying in from Virginia to get his whole chest covered up. He has a lot going on all over the place and he definitely needs my help. So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go. Yes, sir, are you ready? Yes, sir, I'm ready. Hey. Right. Tu número guardado aquí en mi celular No sé si todo lo que tengo de todas las cosas que tengo Pero no te tengo a ti, tengo tiempo que no siento Me despierto, solo aliento porque no te tengo a ti Que regrese, no se compra How do you feel, bro? Hey, I'm ready I want to feel this needle already It's like, nah I don't know, this is probably the longest session I'll probably ever do so. Yeah Well, I mean For now For now, for now, yeah, for now Okay Shoot. Okay uh. Okay there's a lot going on here. It's exciting though. Oh, okay, that's good to hear, that's good to hear. <laughs> it's exciting. It's a challenge. Did you go through any experiences like as far as like uh, while you were getting this tattooed? No, nah, the guy was like super quiet. Like absolutely no conversation at all. <laughs> so. He knew what he had to do. Yeah. <laughs> he got in there and got out. <laughs> How old were you when you got those done? So I was, uh. 15 when I got the names, my last name is Donny Diaz. 15, this yeah. two on the top. Then when I got the cross, the birds, and then all the extra stuff around, I was like 16. All, so all 15, in the, within yeah, the same. Oh. Same year, so, you know, at that time, you just want to be inked out some way or another. Have you tried to get them covered up in the past? Yeah, but I didn't, um, like, the styles that they were offering was more like a really super... Like close to the first guy, he said really close to almost blackout. So he wanted to do like a pattern, you know what I mean? Mm. So not not completely blackout, mm. but he was basically just leave the spots in the skin and do like a pattern. And I was like, um, mm. I don't know if I want something super dark like that, you know what I mean? Especially on your chest. Yeah, that's what I mean. So, and then the other guy, um, the other guy was with the Japanese stuff. I was like, oh, well, mm. I like the Japanese stuff on my arms, but that's probably as as far as I'll keep it with the yeah. Japanese stuff. It's so like, since they were placed, you know, separate, mm -hmm. it was all like, al puro ojo. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I mean, yeah, yeah, exactly. This, so this cross like, looks nice right yeah, there, my like, guy. And then after a while, you're like, um, these are starting <laughs> to look a little uneven. Yeah, yeah, like the two doves, they're definitely. Yeah, and then one's like almost uh, touching on the nipple. nipple. Yep. The other one is not touching and the nipple. You know, look, look, look right here, it's almost like, they were like, oh, oh shoot, did I like, they were like, dude, is that? I like the stencil. Yeah. <laughs> and then he, I was like, dang. <laughs> oh man, I just noticed that. They're crazy. Yeah, that's, uh, thank you so much. Mr. <laughs> uh, you haven't even done it yet, but thank you just for taking it. I'm not touching that. <laughs> <laughs> so I want you to know that I'm not touching that. <laughs> yup. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be what tight. Are you gonna do? Um, so <laughs> that's what we were just talking about. That's what <laughs> it's gonna be a complete blackout, bro. <laughs> Fuck it. No, we're gonna be doing uh, Quatlique, uh, the uh, the mother of all the gods. Oh, and then I ended up customizing a little bit that way it fits everything on the chest. So it's a dope ass piece, to be honest. So the approach that I'm gonna be taking is blacking out a lot of these areas first. So it will give me the shape of the whole entire statue. So first thing is first, attack the contrast, then worry about the highlights. The highlights are the least important thing about this cover up because we gotta make sure that that contrast is enough to distract the eye from all of this mess right here. <laughs> and, uh, and basically, that's gonna be my approach. My goal is to finish at least half of this peck here, the shoulder area, and attack the other side the next day. If I can get farther than that, then I will. Uh, but if I see uh, signs of him uh, going through pain, uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and call it and wait until tomorrow so he can recover, get the energies back, and go at it on the second day. But this is gonna be a two-day session. Uh, and uh, yeah, 
the last time you're going to see this tattoo, bro. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, bro, say bye to your nipple, my guy. Um, he, hasn't even, he hasn't even touched it yet. I'm already groaning. Uh, After you do it, I'll be like, no, you owe this, man. This nipple got to go. Oy. Damn, perfect song. So we can cover up this nipple. <laughs> <laughs> Very relaxing. All right, here we go. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> There you go. Ooh. I think after that, the rest of the tattoo is going to be smooth bro, sailing. It should be cake, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll let you breathe for a little bit. <laughs> All right, guys. The nipple's officially done, so. Dang, why am I sweating for you? What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> I started sweating, bro. <laughs> What I'm gonna focus on right now is this area here. Uh, the approach that I'm gonna be taking is starting with my solid black here, and then start fading it into my gray, all the way to my light gray, and I want like a gap right in between here so I can put my white highlights. I don't know which lines are gonna be affecting me on the process, so my, my plan B, in case those lines are really showing through, what I'm gonna, I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make them into uh, cracks. Like if they're cracks in between the, the statue. I already did it once here, so I'm gonna continue the same pattern. But that's if I can cover them up. Uh, Cause in some cases with these little areas here, it's very scarred, I can feel every single line. So sometimes with my light grays, I, I'm not able to cover up solid black. Uh, so it's all about tricking the eye. And yeah, so that's, that's the person I'm gonna be taking. How are you doing bro? Hey, I feel pretty good. Um, don't have no complaints. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I'm gonna start doing the eye of uh, Qualtlicue here. And the contrast on my reference is on the bottom. 
highlight is on the top, but I need my gloves, hold on. The contrast is down here, the highlight is up here. But uh, since there's a lot of, uh, the line work here is super heavy, what I'm gonna do is switch it. So I'm gonna do the contrast up here and I'm gonna do the highlight down here. That way it, has a, it allows me to cover it up a lot easier and it's gonna look better because if I try to do the contrast down here and the highlight up here, these lines are gonna show right through and it's not gonna be a successful cover up. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm about to do right now. And uh, hopefully uh, we can finish very soon. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-seven. We started around eleven, close to twelve hours, my dude. Oh, my shoe. <laughs> <laughs> my shoe is on yeah, time. That was pretty intense there at the end. Yeah, it was. The collarbone, for sure. So what I did, I ended up navigating a little bit, and I was kind of having, I was having communication with them, like, hey, tell me if you need a break. Tell me if you need to chill for a little bit or stand up, stretch because it was getting a little spicy on the, yeah. on the collarbone for sure. <laughs> Definitely was. And after 12 hours of hitting, you know, the nipple, the side of the pec, collarbone, center of the chest. And I think I did most of it today, to be honest. <sighs> what was the most painful part for today? I gotta say, when we were getting up here to the collarbone, yeah. that, was, that was probably the most painful <sighs> part where I kept having to even hold my breath <laughs> to, get, yeah. to get through that. But mm -hmm. hey, we did it, so. <sighs> Tomorrow we're gonna go at it second day we're gonna finish up the rest of the chest and hopefully it's a lot <laughs> it's a lot better tomorrow yeah. all right i'm hyped i'll see you tomorrow morning <laughs> <laughs> today is day number two on this crazy full chest cover-up nothing was really complicated to cover up it was very it was a smooth day and today uh we're gonna be doing the other side of the chest and uh, I'm already predicting that's also gonna be a good day. The first thing that I'm gonna be doing today is attacking the nipple area because it is the most painful part of the, the chest piece. So I wanna make sure that I get rid of that painful part of the chest and then move on to the easy parts. If I, no if I notice that my client is going through a lot of pain, then I'm gonna start navigating. I'm gonna start communicating with him and asking him, you know, how does this feel like? Do you feel more pain here? Where do you feel less pain? So I can make sure that I attacked those areas in, a, in an order that's gonna help my client get through it. Let's get it! I'm ready. All right. Que vive de mentira, pero no le importa nada. Porque baila sin culpa y bailamos sin culpa. Que yo sé que en el fondo te gusta. Day number two, my dude. <laughs> Crazy. Almost there. Almost there, bro. I, I, I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens. Got will, got fight. Got
got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing Take me for granted and you know I'm leaving I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving I could take this crap from seeing to believing Got a taste for blood and my tongue keeps bleeding From the words I spit, so sharp, so freezing So cold, behold, frostbite, they feeling I could tear you apart or I could go heal them Don't believe in fate, don't believe in ceilings I just need a taste and my mind starts peeling I don't pace myself, I grind on no kneeling Got lust for change, I just love the feeling uh. I ain't gonna give up Got too little time, I'ma live up Head down, push forward through the tough times Cause anything worth doing is a tough climb Always have a vision, I go by a night I be in my feelings, I'ma be fine Need time and I'll soon be winning I live life for the fight, yeah I'm here to get it I got drive, got sight, always have a vision I go by a night, I be in my feelings I'ma be fine, need time and I'll soon be winning I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon So how does it feel? So Two days back to back, about, I'll say, 20 hours. You, well, at the end, you know, you get that, um, that desesperacion, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you start feeling like, dang, are we gonna... Are we ever gonna we, are, Yeah, are we gonna be done too? But, <laughs> hey man, with your positivity... Am I singing? Of course. <laughs> we definitely got through it. Oh, damn, how does it feel that you don't have the old tattoos anymore? It feels like I can finally take my shirt off, you know what I mean? And like walk around the house. And the way you made it fit my chest is just like, yeah, it's just so nice to take my shirt off and just relax like Dude, that. Dude, that's it. That, I think the, that's my favorite part, that way you fit on your chest. Yeah. Because you stand up and it looks like an armor. Exactly. Like you're made out of stone, you know? <laughs>